This is probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my entire life. This is one of the most unexpected things I've seen. And that is Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate in boxing. I don't see how this is going to play out because these are the two, one of the two, no, these are a couple of the two most hated people on the internet. Like, people do not like these guys. And for them to go head on head, this would be really funny. A couple things that I should mention, Andrew Tate, apparently he beat the cases that he had, and uh, apparently with Jake Paul, um, he did. he's going to try to do a flip a coin to see what weight class that him and KSI do. And Ryan Garcia is trying to box Logan, I mean, Jake Paul, so I don't exactly know what's happening here. i just seen a little photo on uh, Twitter, and it was like, this is kind of interesting. Because that would be really funny if one of the, like some of the two most hated people on the internet box each other. That would be just really funny to me because whose side are you on? Like if you hate Jake Paul, I would get why you're on Andrew Tate's side. But if you absolutely hate Andrew Tate, I would get why you're on Jake's side. And I don't think I'm actually going to pick a side because both of him, both of them have done bad things, right? So I'm not going to really pick a side because I don't feel like entertaining the other party or either one of them. Now, if you look at it from a realistic and a moral standpoint, I think that Jake Paul is better than Andrew Tate. This has nothing to do with boxing. I'm just talking about by a, a moral standpoint. Because if Andrew Tate, if all of his stuff that he's like said and does and stuff, it's pretty bad. It's really bad, actually. And with Jake Paul, it's just like, you're just a bad person. You don't really, you, don't, you haven't really committed any crimes that I know of. I just thought this was really funny because I never expected that this even be an option. And knowing Jake Paul, for him going for people that don't box or retire or old, this is like the perfect thing for him because it gives him views, it gives him more clout, more money. And for Andrew Tate, I don't really see what it does for him. Andrew Tate's like, ugh, I'm going to knock you out, man. Like, I don't really see the point on his standpoint, but Jake would probably want to do this. I, like I said, I don't really have a person that I would want to win this. Of course, this is all hypothetical because there is no real like evidence that they will actually box each other. I think it's just throwing words around. And as we know with Jake Paul, uh, they just throw stuff around. And I don't really know about Andrew Tate that Andrew Tate. I don't really know about Andrew Tate that much. I just remember him going whoop. whoop you know, and but with Jake Paul, he's been very co consistent with the viewership, which is interesting, I guess. Very um, respectful, I guess you could say. Even though most people hate Jake Paul, it's still something. But with the KSI and Jake Paul thing, I don't exactly know if that will happen because they they both are trying to dodge each other for some strange reason. I think they're doing it because they're getting more clout than if it actually happened. But if it actually happened, then they would. Get all the clout at once, if that makes any sense. It really all depends on who wins the fight if they do ever fight. I do know that KSI doesn't think he's going to actually fight him because Jake keeps changing the numbers. I don't really know what's happening between them two. I think it's just both of them trying to dodge each other and it's just not working. And they want to dodge each other for more content because if they say, oh, yeah, uh, KSI is dodging me, or KSI is like, oh yeah, Jake Paul is dodging me. They're going to get more clout that way than if they actually fought. It's kind of like with the dream, with the dream face reveal. Dream did a face reveal. Clout was crazy. I mean, this was actually insane clout that he got from the face reveal. But then as soon as he did his face reveal, he was on his top of the game, and then he just slowly went down. And now he's like right here. He's not completely fell off. I see some videos Dream does. Some crazy videos. Never seen a person in Minecraft before up till now. So I don't exactly know what's going to happen. Jake Paul might fight Andrew Tate. I don't really know. And I don't really care who wins. Like, you could do whatever. I think that uh, Andrew Tate does MMA or like doesn't do boxing, for my knowledge. I don't exactly know about these two creators. Or no, Andrew Tate's not even a creator. He's more of a person. That caused a lot of controversy and got lots of fame. And now he's just well known and no one really cares about him. But then again, he's also really rich. So at the same time, he probably does not care at all. But as someone who doesn't really care for Jake at all, like I generally do not care about bro. Like honestly, you could do whatever you want. I don't care. But I think that realistically, he's going to be Andrew Tate because he's just, he's younger. He's probably stronger. 
And I feel like he has a lot more going for him in youth and stuff that he's going to be Andrew Tate. And I don't really see Andrew Tate as a guy that will go wham, wham, cha-bam. I feel like they're off talk, really. I feel like most of this is off talk. There really is nothing happening that's like, boom. You know what I'm saying? But I know this is a very short video. I just wanted to get this out there. I don't really care about the video length anymore because I don't make money off of it. So I'm just doing it for information spreading. But anyways, guys, let me know. If they do box, hypothetically, if they did box, who do you think would win? Um, don't look at their history. Just who do you think would win? Probably Jake Paul, to be honest. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. But anyways, guys, peace out.